maybe you know that going to therapy is going to help me, but maybe I don't know that for myself yet. I might be going through more than you could imagine, more than I've ever talked about. You might want me to talk about my feelings, but maybe I don't even know what it is that I feel. Or even if I do, even if I'm just ready and I just want to spill my guts out, I don't know you. And I don't know the people in this group and I just might not feel comfortable dealing with all of that just yet. But you know, you pull out a drum in the group fun. It's unexpected. I might not have my defenses up against something like that or, or digging in the soil, growing plants as I grow, or taking some paint and just getting it all out, just painting on a canvas. Yeah. Maybe I could get with that weaving bracelets, playing games. And as we do these activities together, it becomes a therapeutic metaphor for me. When you start talking about going through a storm in life, I begin to mentally fill in the details for what my storm is. I begin to understand as I'm doing the activity. I begin to feel again so I can heal. Maybe I even share. But as we're doing that, we can talk or not talk, but what matters is me being there and being present. This curriculum, the Literacy Free 12-Step Expressive Arts Therapy curriculum, it's for mental health professionals, for peer support workers, even for lay leaders, anyone that's working with someone that is struggling with life-controlling addiction. And this is a powerful and a simple intervention. All of the expressive arts activities, all of the cognitive behavioral therapy, rational motive behavioral therapy techniques, they're all laid out right here and it works going through the basics of the 12 steps of addiction recovery using art activities in each group. No literacy is required on the part of the participants and the leader guide is available in English and in Spanish as well as in different cultural versions including the US, Zambia, Latin America, and Kenya. And best of all, this is an evidence-based intervention. Not only is it fun, not only does it bring a sense of hope that things are gonna get better, that life is gonna get better, that you can change, that you do have worth, that you do matter, that you're not gonna be like this all the time, but also it produces statistically significant positive results, including decreasing frequency of substance use. It's fun, it's effective, it's simple, and it works.